Hey everybody. One of the questions that I get often from clients that have had their website go live is how to edit their text on the page. So I just want to go through a quick little walkthrough of what you're going to do in order to update text specifically on your website. So when you go to your website, you're always going to log in at yourdomain.com forward slash WP admin. You'll put in your username and password and click login. That's going to take you into the dashboard. Okay. So this is really what I call the back end of your site. So this is not what anybody else is going to see. It's only what you see when you log in. So there's kind of two options. You can either be editing text that is on a page or text that is in a post. Posts are what you get or like what you set up for a blog. So for this scenario, let's go to pages. And really simply, you're going to get a list of all the different pages inside your website, um, whether they're live, they're in draft mode or anything else. Um, so you can, if you hover over them, you're going to get the option to edit, which will take you into the page to edit. You can do a quick edit, which allows you to just change small things like the name of the page, the URL of the page, um, what time it got published, things like that, which there's not really a whole lot once your site is up that you're probably going to be making any changes in the quick edit. So we are going to edit fully the page. And this was a horrible page for me to click on because there's no content on my video page. So let me go back real quick. Um, okay, so let's go to the website design. Feels appropriate. <clears throat> So if you get your if your page shows up like this where it's, it looks all like junk if, if you will like just junk in there click this back end editor um most of the sites that we've built have this wp bakery as the the builder in the background if yours is using something else it might say edit with elementor or something else similar um so specifically in wp bakery sites we are going to then, you'll be able to hover over each section. So the section will tell you exactly what it is. So for this particular page, I have an image here. And then I have my text. I have some blocks here and some text here. There's some empty space, a picture. So again, for the purpose of this video, we want to edit some text. So if I hover over my text block, then I can click the pencil icon, which will be in the edit text block. When you open it up, this is gonna work a lot like a um, Microsoft Word document. You can make your text bold, you can italicize it, you can put in bullet lists or numbered lists. Um, you, if you want something to be highlighted as a quote, you can put it in what's called a block quote. You can left justify, center the text, right justify. Um, We'll do links in a different video because people ask me a lot about that as well. Um, one other quick thing to note is if you're looking for some more features like color and it's not showing, this little toolbar tool I can't talk toolbar toggle will allow you to drop down some more options. Okay, so again, we're just going to enter in my new text, make changes. You might need to delete this text. Um, I actually don't want to delete the text that's in my site, so I'm going to put it back for now. Um, so just make whatever text changes you want. I do not recommend copying from a different document, whether it's Word or a different program or a website, or it doesn't really matter. I would not copy content and paste it into this block. If you do that, on the, the back side of the code, you'll end up pulling a whole bunch of junk code that you don't want there. So it's better to just type it directly in here. If you really need to, to paste something in, this little T on the clipboard is paste as text. If you click that, um, then it makes it safe to paste in text. Um, but when you paste it in, you will lose all formatting. It won't be bolded anywhere or italicized. You won't have links. So if you're copying all sorts of style, it's better, you know, you can paste it in, but you're gonna have to go back and put all those styles back in. So 
So the other big thing to note is once you've made your changes, you're gonna hit save changes, okay? That seems obvious, I get that. But what may not be so obvious and where some people go wrong is once you've saved your changes to that text block, you have to actually update the entire page as well. You need to save this page, otherwise you're going to lose those changes. So you update the page and once it's done thinking and it refreshes, you can actually go to the page, view page up here at the top, and you'll be able to go see exactly what's happening on this page. Now, I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you later.